Hi besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited today. You need to see my face for the very first time. You're very, very much welcome. My name is Wina, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a particular sunscreen. In case you don't use sunscreen, hmm, let me tell you something. Sunscreen is important in your skincare routine, and this video will help you. So that when you have to go to a cosmetic store and you want to shop for sunscreen, you would know if this is the right sunscreen to buy or not. Okay, so do make sure you watch this video till the end because it will be very, very detailed. I promise you. And make sure you like this video, drop a comment, share it with your friends, hit on that red subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification. So that when next I put up an important and informative video like this one, you'll be the very first person to get notified. Okay? So, Nguano, let us dive right into the video. So, my beauties, it is time for me to review this sunscreen. So this is the Hyper Beauty Back to Nature Expert Sun Care Sunscreen and Moisturizer. Okay, so let me go around so you can see what it looks like. Hmm? So this is a 50 ml size and it is um, a moisturizer as well and as well as a sunscreen, right? So should I start with my likes or my dislikes? So baby girl, I think I have to start with the likes, okay? So this Hyper Beauty Sunscreen and Moisturizer, I got it for 4,000 Naira, which is very, very affordable, trust me, because I've seen um, sunscreen that is way more expensive than this, and I've seen the ones that are lesser in price, okay? So I got this for 4,000 Naira, which is very, very affordable, trust me. And I was using um, Skin Doctor sunscreen before i'm going to put up the picture of the particular one i was using and i did not like that sunscreen for anything because it is oily in my opinion it is oily secondly i'm not here to bad mouth the product though. please i'm not here i'm just giving my own personal observation my own point of view my opinion my honest opinion about it in my work work for some other people okay but i didn't just like it because i just thought it was too greasy on my skin and second it was so difficult for me to blend into my skin it was leaving this white cast so no matter how much i tried to blend it into my skin and massage and massage it was just difficult okay and aside from that i just felt like i am not an, i'm not a patient person i'm not someone that is too patient with things so it's it's always just giving me, it just got me frustrated and I have to just trash it, okay? So I, I have to get this particular one and I said, okay, let me try it out. And I'm here to give you guys the review, right? So this particular sunscreen, I won't even lie. I really like it so much. I like it so much, only for some few things that I dislike it for, okay? It is an SPF 50 plus, which is very, very okay. Like if you're in lagos or you want to use sunscreen you best to use the one that starts with spf 30 so this is an spf 50 plus okay and it is unscented like it has no smell which makes it very very good for dry skin and even sensitive skin because dry skin and sensitive skin does not need products that has uh, that scented products or that has too much fragrance in it okay just light fragrance or no fragrance at all and this one is on same thing meaning there is no fragrance in it at all okay it also contains vitamin c and hyaluronic acid so what is spf spf simply means sun protection factor it is a rating that tells us how much a particular product actually protects us from sun damage okay so the higher the number of the spf the more effective and the higher protection it gives us against skin cancer sunburn skin damage hyperpigmentation premature aging and so on so it is recommended to use a sunscreen that has at least spf 30. so this hyper beauty has spf 50 which makes me love it the more okay. you see this part is very very important so i need you to give me your ears and listen attentively okay so the sun produces two types of ultraviolet radiation which is the uva and the uvd 
the UVA actually causes things like skin damage, premature aging, it causes um, skin reactions to medication, soap, cosmetics and other chemicals. Why the UVB radiation actually causes sunburn? Both the UVA and the UVB increases the risk of skin cancer. Sun sunscreen actually just works for UVB radiation which is for sunburn. But you see hyper beauty, from what is written on the package, it actually gives you maximum protection against the UVA and the UVB radiation, which gives you a broad spectrum coverage. Doesn't this sound interesting? Does it not make sense? <laughs> if you want to know a product that will protect you from the UVA radiation, here are some ingredients that you are likely to find on the ingredient list of that product. I'll be reading from a book because I cannot really pronounce all the names, okay? So you'll find products like Avobenzo, Octocrylene, Titanium Dioxide, Zinc Oxide, and so on. And this particular sunscreen I am holding, Hyper Beauty Sunscreen, contains Titanium Dioxide, which means it protects us from the harmful UVA radiation Another thing I love about this particular sunscreen is that it has a very lightweight consistency. You don't even feel like you applied anything on your skin. It just sinks into your skin and does its job perfectly. Moisturizes your skin and also protects your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. Okay, it doesn't feel oily, greasy or heavy on your skin. And it works for all skin types. Whether you are oily, dry, normal or combination, this sunscreen would definitely fit perfectly on you so now we're going to be going fast with this okay so i'll be showing you with the two finger rule like i said this sunscreen is very very watery like it is lightweight very lightweight so this is a two finger rule right so i'm going to be applying this So you can see how flawless it looks. Just like you know white cast whatsoever. It doesn't leave a white cast on your skin. It is an amazing sunscreen. And you can use it on your face and all over your body. But the only disadvantage, why I do not like this sunscreen is because it is very small. So it's going to finish on time. Because it is advisable that when you go under the sun, after you wear your sunscreen at home, when you still go out under the sun, after two hours or three hours, you need to reapply your sunscreen. So imagine I reapply my sunscreen outside three times. What is going to happen? In this small with this small container. Meaning in two weeks, this is this is totally finished. Okay, so meaning in a month I'll have to buy two of this. I'll have to get two of this, right? So that's just the advantage of it. So if you're about to get a sunscreen for your skin and you're confused on what sunscreen to buy, you've watched a lot of videos, done a lot of research, but you're still confused on the particular sunscreen to get, I would recommend with my phone test that you get hyper beauty sunscreen and moisturizer. Trust me, this particular sunscreen is amazing. It leaves no white cast. It is very moisturizing, contains hyaluronic acid, contains vitamin C, and trust me, it is lightweight and suitable for all skin types. Be you dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, combination skin. Even if you have a skin condition, you are sensitive. Trust me, this is highly recommended. It is amazing. 
other than the fact that it is small in size it is really an amazing sunscreen that you really and definitely enjoy so i have come to the end of this video and i hope you did enjoy it please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment share it with your friends hit on that red subscribe button turn on the bell notification so the one next i post another useful informative and interesting video like this one you'll be the very first person to get notified okay so see you in my next video and i love you so much bye